What's up, ladies and gents? And if you're new to the channel, it's your boy Shaka Zulu, and I'm back here for another video. And today we're gonna be talking about fake div fake disposables versus real one, and we're gonna be talking more specifically about the Backpack Boys. Shout out to Backpack Boys. I know they be hitting, they be you know they got some some motion going. They going crazy this year. I feel like a lot of people are talking about them, and I've been recently trying them out. So I decided why not do a fake versus real because a lot of people out there they uh, Especially on TikTok, are like man every time I post my backpack boys. They say it's fake um, It's crazy. They just be like that shit's fake. You don't have a real one. And it's like I'm in California There's no reason for me to have a fake car. You know what I'm saying we go into the dispensary y'all know how it is man, but you know, some people just don't know. They just don't know, man. So I'm gonna let you guys know right now. So um, I did make a video actually showing you guys uh, the differences and stuff, but for some reason it keeps getting age restricted. So if you wanna see that video, go to the link down below, guys. So you could actually get a real visual of the product, the two different products and what it looks like. But right now I'm just gonna explain it just talk about it and explain it. So, um, recently I was talking to one of my friends, uh, one of my friends that I met through TikTok actually, man, cause you know, sometimes I'll just chat with people on TikTok and I met this girl through TikTok and um, she was buying Backpack Boys off of somebody in California. Um, I guess she's 20 years old, whatever. And she hasn't gotten her med card so she can't get dispensary stuff. But I met her through there because I was wondering. I asked her, she was like, or you, she asked me if they were fake. And I was like, I'm not sure I would have to get it. And she said there, she knows a guy that um, that she can I can get it off from. So I got it off that guy. But I asked her, I was like, why are you buying it? If you're in California, you can just go. And she was like, I'm just not 21. I'm five days away from 21. So she's about to turn 21 so she can get dispensary stuff. But now she's, so before that, she was just buying from the plug. And you guys, you guys already know the plug is usually don't got the good shit unless you know that he for sure worked for a dispensary or can get his stuff from the dispensary but at the point at that point if you're getting stuff from there unless you're plugged in with the dispensary it's not worth buying and selling you're not going to make much much profit you know what i'm saying so it's not really worth it that's why there are a lot of fakes you're making like so much profit you know you're barely spending any money and you're making hella profit i don't know what the percentage is but you're making a good ass profit <clears throat> off a of fake card sorry guys excuse me my it got like allergies right now went hiking but you know they always just be selling the fakes man i'm sorry when it comes to weed the weed is probably better than the carts but even then you sometimes you might have to even not trust the weed but at least weed you could kind of know you could look at it smell it feel it all that good shit and smoke it and you know that oh this is not it you know what i'm saying with cartridges it's such a new wave and i feel like everyone's starting to get into it and, and they really don't know you know they think that it's okay to buy street cards it's not okay guys guys it is not okay to buy the street cards so let me guys tell you the difference between the fake first off i got the cartridge and it was a two gram cartridge right off the back that is a you know a, a red flag that is a super red flag if the first thing you see from a Backpack Boys cartridge is it's two grams. Backpack Boys do not sell two gram cartridges at dispensaries and it's crazy. And the next thing you wanna look at is also another red flag is the price. So I got that two gram cartridge and I got another one just to, just to see a difference. And on the two, the two gram cartridge was $40 and the one gram cartridge was about the same thing, like $40. That's another thing there, you know, it would not be that price if it was two grams. It would be a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Um, it might not be as much as buying two separate disposables, but it's not gonna be the same as buying one gram, you know what I'm saying? And that was another red flag for me. $40 for a two gram and $40 for a real one? Like, no. And the real ones are one gram? No, that's two red flags. The next red flag I would have to say is the writing on it so on the two gram backpack boys it doesn't have that reflective when it says like the disposable vape cart check out the video down below in the comment section or in the description um so you guys can go check out the video and see it for yourself but it has like a reflective 
thing, like a diamond reflective looking thing for the font. That's what the real one has. The fake one does not have that in on for the disposable vape cart, like what it says. I think it's like the disposable cartridge or vape cartridge or whatever, or live resin vape cartridge, or whatever. I, I don't know off the top of my head, but it has that reflective on there, which Backpack Boys doesn't. Um, so that's what you want to look at when you're doing it. That's the third third red flag is the fonts You want to see how the fonts look different and also you'll see that little symbols on there like the backpack are different Like one's faded one's more faded not as much coloring as the other one and stuff like that You know what I'm saying? Um, that's another way you could tell guys. That's another way you could tell the 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 fourth red flag was when I actually opened up the box and I might miss a few things, but you guys can see that video down below so you guys can know um, 100%. But obviously, man, off the bag, I already knew it was fake. So the four red flags, when I opened the box, they did have a little like plastic thing on the mouthpiece, but they didn't have the little sticker that says open for the actual charging port where you plug the charger in. They put a sticker on the real ones, guys. So that's how I knew for sure too. On the real ones, they always have a sticker you rip off um, so it doesn't get hella dust and stuff inside the actual charging port. Fake cartridge people, they don't care. They, they're just trying to sell it. They're not doing all that extra work. That's what you gotta just, you gotta realize and think about guys. Like they're just trying to get you something real quick um, that they can make the most profit off of you on. You know what I'm saying? So that was another flag. And then the the uh, the last flag I would say is the cartridges even look different. It the 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 fake one came up a little more fatter on the top. Like it has this little like section on top that pops up off of the actual disposable. Like you know, it's all one thing still, but it's more thicker than um the real one. The real one's more thinner. Um so it's just slight dis differences, but honestly to to a person that never had a backpack boards or never even tried disposal before it looks legit it looks fucking real and yeah they're gonna have a qr code that you can go check and all that stuff but it still could be fake you know what i'm saying um you can fake those qr codes and fake test results and stuff like that so you gotta just go off of how real it is and then maybe even the taste because they're not gonna put anything good in there but you want to go off of how it looks the two gram thing too but also how it looks the different fonts are different stuff like that and sometimes even with fake cards um the fonts are just totally different like you know what i'm saying they use different types of font um on there so you just gotta be very very cautious um of what you're buying and what you are consuming and if you can just buy from dispensary there's no reason or really talk to someone that you know or that can get to a dispensary for you it's it's gonna be worth the money i'd rather spend a little extra money knowing that i got a dispensary grade shit than buying off of some random ass dude that you don't even know man that doesn't have your well-being in mind these people only care about money money talks my guys and they only care about money and they only care about themselves so you need to be a little selfish and care about yourself and be selfish and not give these people your money they're not worth it like i don't anytime i see a telegram pop up on my instagram it's getting blocked it's getting deleted i don't you know i don't even test those out like you know what i'm saying i mean there are probably real companies that do have telegram that are legit that sell good shit they are out there guys but you got to know what you're doing and who you're talking to and when it comes to the backpack boys and stuff i would not even just go to a telegram like if you're going to go get some rosin or some concentrate or something and it's from a, a brand that can't get off their get off um can't afford to you know have a dispensary or um be legally uh be or to sell legally in you know California because you know it takes a lot of money to get into the game so there are some of those people out there that still are like legit growers and, and people that make rosin and stuff like that and that's the only people I really trust are those type of people that you know they, they're trying to get their business off the ground they just haven't gotten off and they're actually got legit good shit it ain't no disposables or stuff like that I don't trust disposables or cartridges for that matter
but those are the difference between the fakes and the reals guys it's pretty it's pretty simple you could tell from the box to the actual um um to the cartridge you know what i'm saying and also the wrapper was a little bit different also um because it comes with another wrap thing and it was a little bit different also like the font and stuff on it and the colorways and stuff it was way different and then it didn't look legit so like i hate to tell it because it was crazy man like i got it all uh, like when, when i got it and i told her she asked me man honestly it looks pretty real like i don't know man like and i just i didn't want to make her feel bad or make her feel like you know she didn't so i was like um oh, maybe it is real but i'll let you know i'm gonna look at it later and stuff like that but so i'm probably gonna let her know soon and be like man don't buy anything off of that dude it's not worth it you're about to be 21 anyway so now you can just you know go and buy the legit shit it's not worth it man it's not worth your health or your lungs you know getting popcorn lungs i think that's the term they be talking about online and all the different things that could happen to you man because we only have one life and then the best thing you do is just to be as healthy as you can be. And you know, right now we're living in this time where we don't really eat healthy, man. We're slowly killing ourselves. So we don't need to add another thing that like fucks us up. So hell yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is fake disposables versus real disposables on the backpack boys. I hope you guys are having a good one. Remember to eat, breathe, smoke weed. Fuck fake cards, gang. Fuck fake cards, bro. Yeah.